Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to be kidding me. What's with all these windows? They look good to me. They're crooked. Ah, oh, come on, man. They're close. I told you, I need perpendicular lines here. Yeah, well, I eyeballed it. It's all right. Okay, okay. I'm going to show you how to make a perfect perpendicular bisector. So we've got our line right here. Yeah, line segment AB. I got it. Now I take my compass. Ah, here you go. Here's the compass. We're not lost in the woods. Not that compass. This oh, compass. This compass. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got it. I put the compass point on point A, I make the radius more than halfway, and then I draw myself a circle. Got it. Excellent. And then move it to point B. Don't change the setting. The compass radius has to be exactly the same. That's how you know you're marking the same distance from A to B. All right, so I got it. So I draw another circle, put the point on point B with the same radius, and now when I draw my circle, I have two intersection points above and below the segment. And look, those line up pretty nicely. Now draw a line straight through with your ruler. Yeah, now that looks pretty good. That's not good. It's perfect. That's a perpendicular bisector. Every point on this new line is equidistant from A and B, and every angle is exactly 90 degrees. Now that should fix these windows.